Texas is a city of approximately 70,000 people, located about 40 miles northwest of Dallas. Wine cellar specialists were asked to design and build not only a wine cellar, but an adjoining tasting room. The room was an office with green walls and light wood. The entrance included two double doors. Opposite the doors were built-in cabinets. The right wall included wood shutters over exterior windows. We began the project with a drawing of the space. What you're looking at here is an overhead view of both the wine cellar and the tasting area. Each elevation is shown with a letter. Elevations A, B, and C are in the wine cellar, while elevation D is in the tasting area. Elevation A are the side walls, elevation B are the curved corners, and elevation C is the back wall. Elevation D is the bar area. We will take a look at each elevation. Elevation A, the side walls. They consist of solid diamond bins on the bottom, high reveal display rows with light balance, and individual bottle storage above. We included a four inch solid wood piece to mount the ladder rail. The base molding in the entire cellar is a standard one and a half inch molding. The crown molding is four inches tall. Elevation B is the shorter curved corner rack that sits on top of the double deep tabletop that runs the length of the back wall. There is a curved corner rack at each end. This rack has a high reveal display row with light balance as well. Elevation C is the back wall of the cellar. The bottom section is double deep with X bins and rolling case storage. The tabletop is made from wine infusion style of reclaimed wine barrels. The upper section is single deep. We have a solid arch centered with puck light above. High reveal display rows with light balance are on each side. The left and right upper sections are individual bottle storage. Above the arch are horizontal racks that will hold magnum sized bottles. A four inch wood section holds the ladder. Elevation D is in the tasting room. This is what we call the bar area. The lower cabinets on each side have adjustable shelves inside. In the center we provided two drawers with self-closure hardware and integrated frames attached to the doors of the refrigerator. The refrigerator is made to house drinking temperature white wines on one side and beer and soft drinks on the other. We used a Uline brand 3036 model built-in refrigerator made to accept the integrated face frame. The bottom section is 25 inches deep. A tabletop above this section is made from infusion style reclaimed wine barrel wood. The upper section is 13 and a half inches deep. The center is an enclosed cabinet with adjustable wood shelves. LED lighting surrounds the front door area on both sides and above this cabinet. To the left and right are wood shelves. The bottom shelves include a glass rack underneath. At the top of the bar we included four closed wood cabinets for more storage. The crown molding is four inches in height. We also included indirect LED lighting above the cabinets behind the molding. All knobs and handles were supplied by wine cellar specialists and are from our vineyard collection. The grill cover that is mounted on the ceiling of the wine cellar covers the RM3600 twin evaporator system. It's made for easy access to the units for maintenance. This drawing shows the facing for the front venting refrigerator. Now look at all in 3D. This is the overhead view. You can see where the cooled wine cellar is located and the tasting area. Note on the drawings the stone on the walls and ceiling of the tasting area. You will see this clearer in the photos to follow. This is a view if looking in through the windows from the outside of the room. Inside the tasting area looking at the wine cellar from the outside. A little closer view. Inside the wine cellar outside the tasting area showing the gate area and the window area. The bar area in the tasting room and through the door and side lights into the cellar. Shown without the door wall. Now let's take a look at the finished product. Here's the entrance to the tasting room. We added a double eyebrow arched gate. The arch matches the curve of several other arches in the area of the client's home. Around the arched gate we added a stone frame using stone coat. This is a product made from crushed limestone from France. It's blown on and hand carved to the design of your choice. It is then hand colored as well. We use this material outside the gate as well as on the walls and ceiling of the tasting area. Here's a close up of one of the iron grapes used in the gate design. From inside you'll see the back of the gate and the left corner. The digital controller for the wine cellar is mounted on the wall above the light switches to the wine cellar. A corner of the first side light is shown in the photo. 
The stone design inside the cellar was made to be a rough uncut stone at the bottom, blending up into more of a cut stone effect above, and with some old bricks showing through. A close-up of the stone at the side of the door shows where we have incorporated the look of stone and mortar with bricks showing through where it looks like stone has fallen off. Near the bottom of the stone is a more of a cave stone look. The door is a 36 by 96 inch door with a window on each side the same size. The doors are a naughty alder with chapo stain and lacquer. All have dual pane glass. The door includes an automatic door bottom and full weather stripping. Above the door you'll see more of the stone and brick look we added to the walls and ceiling of the tasting room. Here's a closer view. As we move to the right you can see the chandelier which hangs from the center of the ceiling and part of the bar area. The bar is in naughty alder with chapo stain and lacquer. It includes open shelves on the left and right with glass racks. The center section has a glass front door and a lighted cabinet. All across the top and on the two sides of the bottom are solid door cabinets. The bottom cabinets include adjustable shelves inside. The tabletop is made from the inside of wine barrels. It's the infusion style wine barrel tabletop and is stained a deep reddish color from the wine that was in the barrels used. The lower center includes two drawers that have self-closing hardware. We then added an overlay that matches the rest of the bar to the front venting wine fridge. This fridge was added for a place to keep some drinking temperature white wines as well as beer and sodas. Here's a view of the entire bar area. It reaches wall to wall. We also added LED lighting above the bar for some indirect lighting. Here's a close-up view of the upper cabinets. The center bar area. Note the stone showing through the left and right areas. The left center section with glass rack. The lighted cabinet. A close-up of the knobs of all the cabinet doors as well as drawers. These are from our vineyard collection are in the weathered bronze copper color. The right center section with glass rack. The tabletop area in the infusion reclaimed wine barrel material. Inside the left lower cabinet you can see the two adjustable shelves. The Uline 3036 model front venting refrigerator with matching integrated face frame. Two drawers above. Inside the fridge is space for wine on the left and beer and sodas on the right. The side of the fridge door shows how the wood was integrated onto the door. We use self-closing hardware on the drawers. Again our vineyard collection drawer pulls. Vineyard collection handles were attached to the doors of the fridge. The lower right cabinet also includes adjustable shelves. A look at the entire bar area in knotty alder wood with chapo stain and lacquer. Both the tasting room and the wine cellar have the cooperage wine barrel flooring. The cooperage flooring is made from the tops and bottoms of wine barrels and has cooperage stamps in various places which are from the markings on the barrels. A look at the window wall of the tasting room. We had the existing shutters removed, painted, and installed back into place. In the corner you can see how the stone changes from the bottom to the top and how the brick is incorporated into the design. A closer look at the stone walls. You can barely notice the light switches as the coloring is very close. Here's the back side of the double iron doors as we have made our way all around the tasting room. The ceiling of stone shows through when looking up at the very bottom of the chandelier. The handle set and lock to the wine cellar is the Victorian style from the catalog on our website. It was manufactured in oil rub bronze. Let's walk into the wine cellar. The inside includes a scroll knob. The racks are made from unfinished all heart redwood. The left side of the cellar includes individual bottle storage, a ladder rail, an LED lighted high reveal display row, and solid diamond bins. The corners are a true radius design. The back wall is double deep on the bottom, making a tabletop along the entire back wall. Below the tabletop are solid double deep X bins and rolling double deep case storage. The crown moldings are four inches high. There's a four inch solid area all around the cellar where the ladder rails can solidly attach. Here's a close up of the brackets that attach to the rails. The cooperage flooring flows through from the tasting room to the wine cellar. Here you can also get a better look at the solid diamond bins. The corner where the single deep sides meet with the double deep back wall. Here you can see the lighted display row over the tabletop and a portion of the solid arch. 
The case storage is on rolling shelves. This allows easy access to the back cases. The true radius display row above the infusion tabletop. The straight wall meets the corner. A high reveal display row shows off the bottle labels. The lighted display row with individual bottles above. The left side of the tabletop. The solid arch includes a dimmable LED puck light. The walls inside the cellar are painted a burgundy color. The puck light is recessed into the arch. The right side of the infusion tabletop. The right curved high reveal display row and tabletop. The right side of the wine cellar shows the bent ladder. The ladder is bent to be able to move over the double deep back section. A better look at the left side, the ladder is a hook ladder with wheels. Here you can see the hook at the top of the ladder, moving toward the right corner. The starburst wheels on the ladder. LED recess lights can be slanted to point directionally. They are dimmable. We build a grill cover to go over the RM3600 twin evaporators which are mounted in the ceiling. The covers are made from the same Allhart Redwood as the racks and are made to be able to be removed when the unit needs maintenance. A final view of the right side of the wine cellar. Wine cellar specialists can transform your spare room from something like this to an incredible tasting room and wine cellar like this. Call us today.